Hey there, welcome to my curls. My name is Renee. This is Maxie, who was taking a big nap behind me, and Pollux is asleep under the dining room table. Little do they know we are getting ready to get in the car to head to the groomers. They have no idea. <laughs> But everybody across the world has been stuck at home for what seems like months now, and nobody has been able to get a haircut. There's no barber shops, there's no beauty shops, and there's been no dog grooming. Poor Maxie does not even resemble a miniature schnauzer at this point. He looks like a ball of white fuzz. But today, Maxie and Pollux are going to the groomers. So finally, in Kentucky, beauticians were allowed to, to open their doors, barber shops, and dog groomers. And I was able, thank goodness, to get my hair cut on Monday. I feel so much better. I did a whole video just about my haircut. <laughs> and so, yeah. But y'all, my poor husband, oh my goodness. Oh, it is like he is getting ready to grow wings and fly away. His sideburns are so long that they're like flapped out around his ears and the hair on his neck, I have offered to trim it. He, he refuses to let me touch him. It is not happening, but Randy has a hair appointment this afternoon. And I think I'm more excited about his hair appointment than he is about his hair appointment. So today, is the big day for the dogs. Maxie and Pollux are going to get groomed and I am going to be so happy to see Maxie after he's gotten a haircut and he looks like a schnauzer again. Pollux is not a dog that needs to be groomed. He just needs a bath and he needs his toenails trimmed. It's time to wake up, we gotta go get a groomers. Yeah, show us your spotty belly. Can y'all see his spots? When we first got Pollux, his belly was so covered in hair, we never knew that he was a spotty dog, but he is. Hey, let's go to the groomer. You wanna go get a bath and get your toenails trimmed? Let's show him your toenails. Just let me see. Look at those toenails. Oh my goodness. Can we see your toenails, Pollux? Come out here, buddy. Oh, he's showing them to me. <laughs> that is the big excitement here. Pollux gets his toenails trimmed. Well, you all know that I've had a huge problem with Pollux's shedding. I asked for Pollux to get a blowout. They're going to try to blow out that undercoat. They're not going to cut anything. They're not going to trim him. They're just going to give him a really good bath. And I can tell you already, Pollux has slimmed down so, so much just from the loss of all of that hair. Let me show you some pictures of him from when we got him back in December until now. And you can just see the progression of him slimming down and trimming down. And a lot of that too is because he's getting better food. He has so much more exercise. He gets walked every day. He can run in the yard. So he's just naturally getting more fit and trim. He's looking mighty handsome. Let's wake these sleepy heads up so we can head to the groomer. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> so look at this car seat cover that I have for the back seat of my car. Let me show you how cool this is. So this is forward facing. There's a mesh center so the dogs can see through so they don't feel they're kind of like they're kind of locked in here. This side has these cool little pockets, so I, I want to take their leashes, which I'm going to need when I get to the groomer. I can just put everything in there if I need treats or whatever. It's by a company called Pets Apex, and it is a super thick and durable waterproof material. So it's going to keep the dogs from scratching the leather in my car. It's got a protective flap, so if their feet come down, they're not going to scratch up anything here. And this little thing is just so cool. So you just open it up. It has hooks that go around your headrest, so it holds it in place on both sides. And then hooks that go around the front. So they've got all this room. Here's what's so cool. There is a Velcro area so your seat belt can come through and you're asking, well, why do you need your seat belt? Well, I'm gonna show you because I have two dogs. The, the car seat cover came with one 
safety leash, which I'm going to use for Pollux, but I got Maxi. I purchased one of these little clips with a clip on it. So if you just close your seatbelt, just like you would do, put the ring around your seatbelt strap, and then I will hook then I will hook this onto Maxi's harness on his back. This will hold him in place, and Pollux is gonna use the included safety harness on his. How cool is that? This is from my front seat, so when I can see them through the mesh, they can see me, and all is well. My oh, me, Maxer. Look, what a fuzzy, fuzzy mess he is, y'all. <laughs> He need a haircut. And I can tell, yeah, when he gets a hairdo, he just feels so good about himself. He need one. He hot too. It is like 90 degrees here today. And the Maxer's hot. You wanna go get a hairdo? Look at all this chicken in his ears, y'all. Chicken. In the South, that's what we call chicken in your ears. It means he has selective hearing. He ignores me. He only hears what he wants to hear. When you have chicken in your ears, Maxie got some chicken in his ears. Mm -hmm. Are you ready to go to the groomer? What are you doing? Where are you licking? <laughs> Where was your teeth? Did you have to have some teeth pulled? Y'all, Maxie is almost 10 years old. Mm, he gonna look much better today when he all fresh. <laughs> Pollux, are you gonna go to the groomer too? Paul said he did going for a bath. Watch out! Boop. Are you ready? Maxi, you ready? Here we go! We had to swing by the bank really quick and the teller asked me how many dogs were in the car. She's going to give him a treat. I think Pollux knows he's getting something so he is anxiously waiting. That's <laughs> okay! He's waiting! <laughs> We're gonna get doggy treats from the bank teller, boo. Is this your first trip to the bank? Ooh, he said it is. All right. Oh, whoa. Okay, you take one. Oh, no. Pollux, want it? Oh, you finally take it. He is not open to new things. He isn't. The treats smell different, had somebody else's scent on it, didn't want to take it but I think they're enjoying them. All right, Moo, you're gonna be feel all handsome, excited. All right, Pollux. Is this exciting, guys? Pollux, why do you keep going over to Max? He can't, oh, oh! <laughs> now, oh, now y'all's all tangled up. Oh my gosh. Wait a minute, no. Seriously? Okay. Yo, it's so thirsty from the groomer. Pollux, how did it go with the groomer? You wouldn't let her do your toenails, she said. Can we see ya? <gasps> Look at that. Hey, do you have chicken in your ears? Let's see. Oh, no chicken. Yay, Maxer. Oh, look how handsome. Let's, oh, yeah. oh, they're so fresh too. He smells so nice and handsome. Oh, I love it. So nice and handsome. Oh, your little tongue sticking out, Moo. He got snails or eyebrows. Oh, buddy, so sweet. Yay, Massey. What are you doing in here? All you want to do is play with your toys now? Look how fluffy your tail is, Pollux. 
Ooh, handsome. Your tail's so fluffy. You wanna go out with him? Oh. Somebody wanna go run. Oh, man. You look so handsome, buddy. You look like, a, oh my goodness, what did you get on your beard? Ah, <laughs> you look so handsome, Mooey. <coughs> what? <coughs> what? <coughs> Why are you acting like that? <coughs> <laughs> Buddy, go ahead. <laughs> what do you want? Mm. You telling me it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, you got sneezes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, hopefully you enjoyed our transformation. I got a haircut. Randy got a haircut. Oh, look at that. Look how sharp that is, woo. Sideburns, okay, fancy. Maxie and Pollux, well Maxie got a haircut, Pollux just got a bath. And Pollux was uncooperative, I'm told. But what's new? Totally to be expected. Every time he goes to the groomer, he gets a little more comfortable, so I guess it's just gonna take time. For now, the dogs are going to take Judy's, and Brecken and I are going shopping. Y'all, the mall is open. Not all the stores in the mall. Some of the stores are open. TJ Maxx is open. Home Goods is open. And we have some dorm room shopping to do. So I'm going to take my new haircut, and we are headed shopping. So I hope you enjoyed our transformation at the Hayden house, and I'll see you next time.